There is a new leader of the official opposition, Aaron O'Toole. But he's got that job. But will he ever be prime minister? Pavan Bratch is the host of This Week Live. And he joins me now because he has an opinion on all things political. And usually he's right. Um, Tell me, will he ever be prime minister? I think he might be. I think he might oh, wait be. Wait a second, might or will? Well, I think, listen, I think he, the first thing he did was he said, everybody's welcome, I'll march with you. I mean, what a, what a big difference, you know? For how, As opposed for how to long, the people keep blaming Laurentian Justin, elitists. People keep blaming Justin Trudeau for what's going on. Justin Trudeau, Justin Trudeau. But the fact of the matter is, is that if you don't have somebody in opposition who can be elected by Canada broadly, why, can, why do you keep blaming him? And well, I think wait a second, somebody. everybody loves Justin Trudeau. Yeah, and, you know, we have this fine <laughs> government and... Why would anybody want to change? Well, I think I think I think the world is 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 dealing with uh, a lot of problems right now, and Justin Trudeau has what looked great. Took, took them through COVID, obviously. Uh, you know, he's kind of the sugar daddy for Canada right now. What do you mean, for you the know, Kielbergers? Th- for the Kielbergers, he was very helpful too, I'm told. But for Canada, he got us through. He's high in the polls. But the question will be, I think, is he the right guy to lead us when all that stuff's about to happen down south and all that stuff's going on around the world? You know, as a satirist, we see uh, funny on both sides. So, I have a lot of funny stuff about Trudeau. Mm-hmm. Are you going to be picking fun on about Aaron? We're going to make fun of Aaron as well. Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, he seems like a nice fellow. He does. You know what? I mean, he's an ex-military officer. He was flying choppers. Uh, he worked at Procter & Gamble, where I also worked at one point in time. So he's, he's clean great, as a whistle? He's not clean as a whistle, but he's, you know, he's tied fresh. <laughs> oh, okay. You, yeah. you had that one prepared. Oh, no. So do you think Canadians are going to warm to this guy? I, I think I think they will. I mean, I, I listen. So what does he have to do? We frankly, Canadians know more about all the Democratic contenders that we, have been running for the last two years than they know about about. about why Aaron is O'Toole. that? Why are we more interested in Canadian in American leaders well, than Canadians? It's a good Canadian. question. I mean, why is it that we got to know Aaron O'Toole after he somehow won? How why is that? I mean, I think the issue is is that the media is covering the sexy stuff down in the U.S. and uh, they had 29 contenders, and that's all we watched for the last two years. It seems. Are you saying? Our politics are not sexy? I think they could be sexier. I mean, I don't know if Aaron O'Toole is going to help with that part. <laughs> <laughs> so, no, no what offense. are you going to do on your show to sex it up? Well, you know, I mean, we'll, we'll draw in parts and make him look better. But I think he's, you know, we're, we're, we're looking forward to a few gaffes from him. But I think, it's, I think he's the kind of guy that's uh, probably going to break through uh, in the marketplace, especially as stuff unfolds in the U.S. Okay. Pop and brunch. Three minutes. Thank Thanks you so all. much. Okay. Cheers. Thank you for watching. We are going to continue to broadcast from the secret bar here on top of the George Restaurant Courtyards on Queen Street East in Toronto. In these days where politicians are spending a lot of your money, Parliament's not sitting, it's important to have an independent news source. That's what we are doing. We hope you subscribe.